Hi Aries, welcome to your week ahead Tarotscope with... Hi Aries, welcome to your week ahead Tarotscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. Whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, uh, Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody. That is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So um, for your key to the week this week you have the tower card and as soon as I put this card on the board the first thing that I heard in my mind was this is going to be a week where there are some form of shock information this is going to be something that likely really like when you hear it you may be a proper Aries and kind of you know the temper might flare um, it may also be a moment at which you're kind of at a loss it's like okay I don't really know what to do with this information there is something coming in this week that is going to be some kind of shocking news and I really I hope at least that gives you a heads up so that when it happens you're like okay you know what no, I don't really know what to do with this, but I knew something was coming up and I knew that it might possibly be a little bit intense. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. So for your actions and options, you've got the three of cups. So this is really nice. You may have a sudden spontaneous urge to go out and let loose. It looks like some of you will definitely be doing that. Um, for others, this could be a spontaneous reunion of some sort. Maybe this is uh, an ex, maybe it's an old friend, maybe it's an old colleague. Like you could literally find yourself face to face with somebody that you haven't seen in a very long time. The tower card suggests maybe you didn't part with this person on the best of terms uh, and the universe is throwing you together for any number of reasons. So pay attention to what comes up this week. Uh, now, because you've got this three of cups here as well, I really feel like in a lot of ways, this is Aries starting to open back up. Like this is your heart space really starting to, to be, it's almost like the heart is coming online. All right, I think that's probably the easiest way to put it. For your communications and conversations, you have the 10 of wands. So you've got this underneath the tower card. When it comes to your conversations this week, there are likely to be some that come to that there are likely to be some conversations this week that you have that bring certain things to an end a close or a completion doesn't necessarily have to be explosive but the tower card is involved um, i think you yourself are in high spirits but for those of you that are studying i think this is going to be the week where you either get your final deadline or you start to un like maybe this is where you're for some of you as well this could literally be where you're starting that slow steady descent towards those final exams right so it's like okay yes all right this is going to be the most intense period but at least i know what i'm doing right now and i can just put my head into that it's like you're disappearing into the work for those of you that are um employed by somebody else could be a very similar energy where you're like disappearing into your work it could be as well because it is the ten of wands maybe there is more demand on you from the boss the employer or the organization this week so watch out for that for those of you that are business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs this may be a week where um, and i say this out of all love and care but you might be accused of liking the sound of your own voice this week so watch out for that because if you've got employees or let's say you collaborate a lot with other people you might be someone might call you out this week for maybe not listening to other people or not giving other people a voice uh, and then when it comes to those of you that are um retired and no longer working for any reason that ten of wands in a lot of ways whatever it is that's coming up whatever this shocking piece of news is it's kind of like a turn of events and when it happens you might have a moment where it's like okay this is not easy but actually i kind of feel relieved by the whole thing for your love and relations you have the hermit card for those of you that are single 
you're staying single this week but you're staying single so that you can have you some fun um, and you know what what a great use of your time effort and energy that um uh hermit card as well especially coupled with the the three of cups there is a reunion this week between you and a partner, you and an ex, you and a, you, you know, all of the rest of it. For those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitment, it could be that one of you or your partner are staying away this week, maybe that's why. Um, it could also be for some of you, because you've got the tower as the key, um, this could be a week where you and your partner, where maybe you realize that you and your partner are on very different pages with something that's come up in your world, like in your collective con like context. You might sort of see a challenge, an issue, etc., and you might say to yourself, wow, you know what? I thought we were on the same page here, but actually now hearing you say this, I understand that you really are on a very different page to me. So it'll be interesting to see how that shows up. Uh, for a select few of you, this may be a change in direction um, in that regard. When it comes to your money and materials, you have the chariot card. So you've got this with the ten of wands. Uh, a problem, just like a bill, halved is always a good thing. So this suggests for some of you, um, this may be a time <laughs> where you are... Um, when it comes to your living situation, that may be changing and it might be changing really quickly. So for some of you, this might be a development on the home or the family front, um, especially if you're needing to play a supportive role in some way. For those, uh, when it comes to your money and your finances, the chariot card is good for money, um, but it does suggest having or maybe needing to spend money spontaneously on your car, on your vehicle, all right? So watch out for that. Um, if you're, you know, sensible and you've got a car fund, then you know that if anything comes up with it, that's gonna be that. Now, it's good for money in the sense that this could be a week where you're able to make quick money or bring money to you quickly, um, but it also, because you've got the tower card there, this might be a sudden expense to do with the car. Uh, and then for those of you, um, or should I say when it comes to your physical health and vitality, the chariot card is great for energy and vitality, but I would say that this is also, um, watch out for doing anything too quickly, especially because you've got the 10 of wands above it. So this could be one of those moments where, you know, you're, you know, living life large like all Aries do and then bing, you know, you feel something in your back and you're like, oh gosh, that was not good. Uh, that was me about three weeks ago at this point um, and it really freaked me out, I have to say. So that is your week in a nutshell. I truly hope this helps you in some way, shape or form. If you haven't seen it, please check out the Weekly General. If you haven't seen it, don't forget, I have just recently put started doing uh, new moon and full moon readings. So don't forget to check those out as well. Take care and I'll see you soon.